Hi everyone, it's Kieran with Thrifted Living. In today's video, I would like to share with you four fun and easy projects that you can create for Halloween using a Cricut Joy Machine and some products that you can find at Dollar Tree. So let's get crafting. I would like to thank Cricut for sponsoring today's video. It is almost Halloween and I know that I love to craft for every season and Halloween is definitely one of my favorite seasons to craft for and this year I realized that I really hadn't done a lot of crafting and so I decided to actually take out my Cricut Joy and use some products that I found at Dollar Tree to create some fun and easy DIY projects to decorate for Halloween. I love using Cricut Joy to do crafting with Dollar Tree products. I think it's just such a great pairing because you can find so many different items at Dollar Tree that can be used in so many different ways and the Cricut Joy is an easy way to customize each of those different items. The first piece that I'm working on right now is a plate that I found at Dollar Tree. I believe they're called chargers and I actually found this shiny silver charger at Dollar Tree. And I found this really fun saying in the Cricut design space, it says, bat hair don't care. And I think this could be a really fun addition to our bathroom. I could maybe display it next to the sink. And I think it's just a fun way to add a festive element. I think from beginning to end on this project, it maybe took me 10, 15 minutes to do this. That is why I love the Cricut Joy. I just think it's such an easy machine to use. I love the contrast of the black vinyl with this faux metal charger. I also love the different fonts used in this, and I love that I was able to find it in the Cricut design space. The second project is a simple candy bowl and I love the way that candy looks when it's displayed in a clear bowl just because it's so vibrant and so pretty. So I decided to write Happy Halloween on this bowl and I love that I was able to use the Cricut design space. I love that the design space has pre-made designs already created but you can also create your own design and I love that customization aspect of Cricut and I love how portable and compact the Cricut Joy is. For this project I wrote the words Happy Halloween on the Cricut design space and then I was able to print them out on a removable vinyl. Once I cut out the words I was able to then peel off the vinyl that was around the letters themselves and then I was able to use some of the transfer paper to make this project a lot easier. So many of you had been suggesting using the transfer paper and I'm so happy that you did. It's almost a way to just keep your letters all together in one spot and it makes the process of transferring them onto the item so much easier. And I'm just so happy with how this project turned out. I love this festive Halloween bowl and I can't wait to keep candy in it. I think these next two projects were my favorite out of all four of these fun Halloween DIYs. I love these trifle containers that you can find at Dollar Tree. I just think they're such a great value for only a dollar. And I love this project because it feels very high end to me. It feels like you would have thought I found it at a department store, but I actually was able to make it with products from Dollar Tree and my Cricut Joy. So I'm actually following the same process for all of these projects. I create something on the design space or I find a project that's already made and then I choose whatever vinyl I'm going to use. I load it into the machine. Then once it's cut, I remove the extra vinyl around the letters. And then if I need to, I will go through and clean up some of the extra spots using this weeding tool. I believe that's what it's called. And that tool is such a helper in these projects just for trying to get those tiny little extra pieces of adhesive off. Then I will attach the transfer paper to the back of the project and then I smooth it out. I do this to make sure that the transfer paper has a good attachment to the letters so that you're able to peel those right off and then you're able to attach them to the project that you're working on and I just loved this project and how easy it was to do. I was really proud of these when I saw them just because I think that they look so classic and so pretty and just simple at the same time and I could just see us using these for years to come. This last project gives me like boho chic vibes for Halloween. I just think it's really cool. So I started by using these mirrors that I found at Dollar Tree quite a while ago and I just think they're so pretty and just such a great deal for a dollar. And then all I'm doing is actually writing the word boo, one letter on each frame. And this project literally took five minutes. It was so easy to do. I was able to design the piece in the design space and then I was able to just print them out, use the transfer paper, and literally attach them. I really love the combination of the font with the really beautiful frames on these mirrors. And I just think the contrast between the two is just so beautiful and adds this elegance that I just, I couldn't even expect and I couldn't even have wished for it to look better than it does. I just think they feel so high end, but they really only cost a couple dollars each. 
I hope you enjoyed seeing four really fun and easy projects that you can create for Halloween using a Cricut Joy and Dollar Store supplies. The Cricut Joy has completely changed the way that I craft. I feel that the Cricut Joy has given me confidence in crafting again. I've shared before that I struggle with penmanship, especially when I'm crafting. And now that I have the Cricut Joy, I'm able to create perfectly printed images and I'm able to customize them in exactly any way that I would like. I would highly recommend giving the Cricut Joy a try. Thank you again to Cricut for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Thrifted Living or follow me on Facebook at Thrifted Living page. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!